Uh, the research area that I work in is computational fluid dynamics, and it, it creates computer models of fluid flow and heat transfer in systems, like heat exchangers. And so the, in those models, there are billions of calculations that are done, and those calculations uh, can be made a lot faster by using the new facility. So instead of waiting three, four weeks for a single calculation result, we could get answers in hours or days which will may allow us to do more realistic models and uh, have a better research environment, attract good graduate students and uh, produce better results. For example, I'm doing a model on film condensation and, and uh, tracking the details of flow of gas and film uh, modeling and without that, uh, those facilities, it would be weeks or you know, a very, very long time to get one answer. So, it's very, so the throughput, you know, you can't see whether your model is working until after four weeks of calcul calculations, right? So it's better if it's days or hours. Yeah, well, this is a very en energy efficient computer because uh, we're using uh, chilled water to cool it. Uh, it produces an enormous amount of heat and the chilled water cools this. And then in the winter periods, we actually use this heat and recycle it to the surrounding buildings. So it's a very advanced system and it will be a benefit to many areas of research, not only just here at the University of Manitoba, but right across Canada. There will be users right across Canada using this facility, solving various types of problems, uh, climate monitoring, uh, health research, diagnosis of disease, and all kinds of different other problems that will be a benefit to many Canadians.